Hey, what is up guys? And today's gonna be a quick update video on the jumper light controller here. So I've been only using this controller for the past three weeks or so, and I'm ready to give in some more impressions here. Some things I didn't know at the beginning, obviously you won't know until you use it a bit more. Now, first of all, let's start. Did I have any issues? Well, I had no issues whatsoever. It never froze on me and it's been working really great in that aspect, which is really nice. So I am building trust in this thing. Now, another thing that was really highlighted throughout using this is the convenience factor, if we should call it that, which means that I could easily charge, easily change a battery if I needed to and overall fitment or the size of it is really small and I could just stick it into any backpack without really having to worry about it much and and that just gets a really big a plus for me like I, I don't think it would be the main driver for most people out there especially if you're doing long range this is not the one I would actually go for um, this would be a really good backup radio slash portable quick radio for your micros and even larger quadcopters. If you're not doing any long range stuff, this is going to do the job just fine. And you will definitely enjoy it depending on if you're a thumber or if you are a pincher. Um, but in terms of reliability currently as I'm using it or have been using it, it's been really great. Now, something I didn't know in the beginning was about the TBS Crossfire. Now, the internal circuit theoretically would not be able to handle the full output of a TBS Crossfire. I did install the, T the Micro V1 TBS Crossfire, which is the bigger ones with a little adapter, and it worked just fine. But once you go up in the power usage, then it, it just the battery drains so freaking quick, it's insane. And as soon as you plug it in, you'll just see the battery just really start dying. And the reason for that is there's a couple of reasons. One, the internal circuit might not be able to handle the full output of a TBS Crossfire, which is uh, you could easily we could do some mods to fix that. It's not a really a big problem. But that's something to keep into consideration here. So you, if you ever buy one, yeah, it's not recommended to put it on the full blast because you can probably ruin some of the internals. Another thing you want to take into consideration is the fact that the battery drain will be quite significant uh, once you plug in a TBS Crossfire like module or R9 module that's outputting at quite a lot of uh, watts here. And the reason for that is because most other controllers, just about everything else I think in the market, takes two 18650s. However, this one's only taking one due to its form factor. Not a big deal, but it is something to keep into consideration depending on what you're buying it for. Now, all around for, again, a beginner, not even a beginner, um, a nice portable, uh, convenient controller. This is absolutely gorgeous. You can play your simulators just fine with a USB type C here and it has everything you need. So I wish we had these back then when we first started. I remember when I first started, I started with a fly sky. And if I had this, I, you would, I, it would have taken me ages to go think about buying another uh, controller at the time, because this is going to do the job just fine. And it's currently doing the job for me. And I'm very satisfied with it. And again, this is still early. It's about three weeks of use. Time will tell. I'll keep updating you guys. But I just thought it deserved a little update here if anybody is looking into purchasing one. Um, so far, I'm giving it the green light. Uh, and you just have to keep in mind with the TBS Crossfire long range stuff. And again, this is really not made for that. So just keep that in mind. I know that a lot of people are hating on that. But come on, you, you can't expect much for under 100 bucks. This is pretty insane. I don't care what you say, honestly. And well, if anybody's used it, let people know down in the comment section. And well, I'll see you guys in the next one. Everything's linked down below. And come join my Patreon. I do a ton of giveaways there. Peace.